Today, we're gonna to get started building AI tools in the Relevance platform. Relevance AI lets you build an AI workforce that comprises of AI agents. These agents complete work, and in order to complete their work, they need to be given tools. Relevance provides a library of many pre-built tools for your agents. However, we also have a no-code builder that you can use to build any tool that your agent needs to complete work. With Relevance AI tools, you can build your own custom LLM-powered automations or even integrations. Once you've built your tool, you can give it to your agent, you can run it in bulk on data, or you can even use it as a shareable app. With no code, you can access any API, or you can use one of our large library of third-party integrations, or even execute custom code in your tool. If you can think of something that your agent needs to do, you can build it in our tool builder. Navigate to the Tools tab in the home page and click New, which will bring you to this page. You can check out some of the template tools here and also modify them, or you can click Create Tool to start from scratch. In a tool, you have three main components, Use, Build, and Logs. Use lets you run and interact with your tool. Build is where you create and configure your tool. Logs gives you a record of how your tool is being used. Click on Build. Let's cover a few key concepts to get started. Inputs specify the type of information that is received, used, processed, and transformed in the steps of your AI tool. These might be passed in by an agent using your tool or a human using your app. Click on the Add Input button and choose the appropriate input type, such as text input, file to URL, or even API key input to get started. AI tool steps are the individual actions that your tool will perform to achieve your workflow. Common steps are LLM cores, API requests, or custom code. To add a step, click on the Add Step button and make your selection. Variables are how you pass data around your tool between inputs and steps. Everything you do in a tool can be referenced by its variable. Knowledge helps you teach any large language model your tool uses about a new topic. For example, if you're building a tool to generate personalized sales emails, your company's FAQ can be added as knowledge. This way, the LLM can better understand the context and produce more relevant output. You can either add knowledge here or add a tool step to retrieve knowledge, which gives you more control. Let's take a look at an example of an AI tool we've already built. This is the YouTube video to blog post tool. In our first section, you can see we have three inputs, YouTube video link, blog name, and SEO keywords. These are the inputs someone using your tool as an app would provide. You can see how that would look here, or which an AI agent would pass into the tool if using it. To create these first two inputs, we selected text input, which is a string. To create the SEO keywords input, we selected the text list input, which is an array. The first tool we've added is a Python code step. This code takes a YouTube URL as an input. In our code step, we call input params and retrieves the transcript using a Llama Hub loader that fetches the text of YouTube videos using the YouTube transcript API Python package. The next step we've added is an LLM step. We started our prompt by supplying all the contextual information the LLM needs by referencing our variables. For example, you can access the video transcript with python.transformed in curly brackets. Python is the variable name we gave our Python step and transformed is the key on the Python steps output where we can access the results of our executed code. Blog name or accessible at blog name is the second variable we created in our inputs. SEO keyword, accessible with the variable keywords is the third variable we created in our inputs. So you can see we've passed the LLM all the information it needs to generate a relevant blog post. Our prompt also gives the LLM some context about its role and goal and what the ideal output should look like. We can also easily toggle between different LLM models. All that's left to do now is test out our tool. Now imagine giving this tool to a marketing manager agent. We might build it some more tools. Maybe we build it an image generation tool or a publish the Webflow tool. All of these give your agents new abilities. Now bear in mind, this YouTube to blog post tool is just one simple example of what you can create in Relevance AI's tool builder. Stringing custom Python code into an LLM step. Have a look at our templates page. You can open up any template and go to the build tab to see how it's created 
and sort of reverse engineer some of the other techniques that you can use to create tools for your agents in relevance. Really, the possibilities are endless. Anything you dream up, you can build with Relevance AI.